All right, I think it's recording. It looks to be recording. Hey, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of I Think This Camera Is Gonna Drive Me Insane, the show where I show you how to not go insane when dealing with a GoPro. And uh, yeah, today I'm gonna let you watch me lose my mind trying to record myself. <laughs> Uh, preparing this. This is Shizu Ren uh, Daozanyan from China. <laughs> Anyways, how you doing? So, crack this thing open. Are you ready to see how much comes in one of these cups? It's it's pretty insane. Boop, 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 boop. It's a lot. It's really a lot. I mean, I don't need that. But I need this other stuff. So first off, let's deal with the noodle block. I, I appreciate that they are individually wrapped, but it's kind of a, it's kind of a pain. You gotta do it right in the bowl. If you don't do it like this, it's gonna go all over the place. But uh, yeah, this is this is weird. Today uh, is the first day of kids going back to in-person learning in the school district my kids go to, but my kids are not going to in-person learning. They're staying remote, which is good. We're happy with that. Um, they got a new teacher, or he's got a new teacher. She's got the same teacher, but a different schedule, and other kids now from classes that, what's the deal? Some will be remote, and the other ones are gonna be not remote. So it's gonna be kind of a mix. Check this out. Interesting noodle block. Okay, let's, let's fit in there nicely. <laughs> Crank. And then you add all the stuff in. Which I will do. And then add boiling water. And then let it hang out for four to five minutes while we tend to some business. I have been like... The, today's the day after Easter. Happy Easter. I hope you had an enjoyable one. You don't do that first, Robin Reader. It's like, no, really, you do. Hi. What's up, Mimi? Did you finish your lunch? Yeah? Did you eat all your lunch? Go eat your lunch, post. Eat. There's this one. And so Mimi's going through a trial and tribulation dealing with what to eat for lunch and she'll ask for one thing and not want to eat it when she gets it and so hi miles we're kind of at an impasse on that so it's like well there's your lunch if you're not getting it then oh well if you're hungry you're gonna eat There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm doing my review doodles with my noodles. By the way, ramen noodle review doodle is an actual thing. They've got a show on YouTube too. I talked to them a while back and if you guys are watching, I haven't forgot about you. I've been just like kind of crazed lately. I apologize. I really totally want to get back with you do your show. That would be a blast. Let's see, where's that fill line? Uh, I don't know where the dang fill line is. I saw it earlier. Maybe it's not as, oh. Are you on the side? Come on, be on the side. I smell pickled thing. Go with that being it. 
Alright, where's my... So this will help me not make a huge mess. That's my idea. I'm hoping. Because I always spill water. Whoa, whoa. How are you boiling? There you go. And it says four to five minutes. I'm gonna do it for five. Put the lid on. Hey, calm down out there. Happy Monday. So, let's get our quote of the day by our friend. The canonized by me, Momo Fukuando, the guy who invented the instant noodle back in 1958. This is a book of his quotes. Fine, fine reading. Um, we are now on number 239, which reads, people have two desires the first is to do good. The second is to do what they want to do. Uh, Alright, I'll throw in some extra fun. We've got Monopoly tickets from our local grocery store. So what's been going on with me? Well, yesterday was Easter. Happy Easter to all the Easter types. Uh, and for everybody doing the Passover thing and the Feast of Unleavened Bread and there was another one in the only reason I know about most of these things is because of the school flyers that come out and nothing um, there was one that had a funny name and I can't remember what it was but it was for Neo Pagan is listed in the school thing Man, when I was a kid, if it said anything about Pagan, there would be like... <laughs> if the word Pagan were brought up in the school district where I grew up, up in Anacortes, people would die, okay? People would lose their mind. So I'm glad we live in a school district that accepts all sorts of interesting folks. I, for one, am not religious, and I'm also not winning, so maybe that's why. But, uh, let's see, on Saturday I went and I did a big, big six-mile walk, and I did it... Now, don't think, like, literally I walked backwards, but I usually do the loop in one direction. Well, I did it backwards, so it meant more hills and stuff. And at the end, there's a really steep downhill. So that was cool. And then I got home, and our apartment complex has more nothing. Wow. Um they opened up their exercise room and they said the deal is you get 45 minutes maximum of two people but they have to be from the same apartment and I scheduled it for 10 a.m. which was the first slot on Saturday so it was just me and I got the room for 45 minutes which was neat I've never really tried any exercise equipment boy nothing um and what did I use? I used this thing called an elliptical. Dude, that kicked my butt. Wow. I mean, I I got done walking and did six miles, and that was, like, easy. This thing? Holy crap. 50 cents off Nabisco snack crackers. Again, nothing. I started the timer right. I did. Got a minute and a half. But, yeah, it was it was a lot of work. It was good though. I, I was really stuck. Now I now I want one of those things. Fifty cents off classic pickles or relish, if you're so inclined. And what else? Ran out of chashu. We get it at the Asian grocery, Wajamaya, and went over to Renton. To the Rajmaya there. They have a much different selection than they do at the Bellevue or Seattle location. Which is nice. So we went and did that. And... But I'm like... 50 cents off Biofreeze gel. You know, hey ladies and gentlemen. If 
if you are a biological unit and you need to freeze something, look no further. Biofreeze gel is there for you, I guess. Never used that. I don't like stuff like that. It makes me break out. I don't like to break out. But, uh, mm, it looks as though my uh, student loan garbage is all ironed out. 50 cents off of Dr. Pepper 7 Up and W. Yeah. Ah, Saved by the Bell. These are really, I gotta tell you, these really suck this time. It used to be like, here's a free donut. But then they said, oh, we can't dispense donuts that way because of COVID. That's what they did last time. It was kind of silly. Can't have me no COVID donut? Come on now. Just a little bit of COVID on my donut. You, you, you. I'll have me a COVID donut. Oh, we're sorry. We're fresh out of COVID donuts. That was the big, that was actually the main thing. I think, honestly, this was supposed to be drained. Yeah, I think, I think I screwed the pooch here, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe not. I don't know. It shows you them putting it all in a bowl and then dumping this on it. Mm, this may be a complete fail, which, which really goes in line with how the day's been going, so... We'll try the, the spoon of spooning. Yeah. But I'm seeing like alongside of this, it's all bubbly. Well, that's definitely very strong. Okay, not a fail. It's odd though, it's very odd. It. it I'm feeling like this should have been drained and then everything added in, but oh my God, it's so strong right now with liquid that I don't think that would work at all. Interesting noodle. Okay. That sounded kind of good lately. Yeah. Anyways. And, oh yeah, and so their schedules got changed because of that return to school deal. So now I have an extra hour between his last class and her first class. So it's like the ability for me to do more reviews has opened up which is great a little thing I'll tell you right now just between you and me and it really doesn't matter because you're in the future sucker um, <laughs> I uh, this stuff it's kind of tangy it's got a spiciness to it the noodles are trippy they're wide they're they're bumpy they're not bad. I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm thrilled with it, but it's not bad. It's supposed to just be sour flavor, and I definitely could see it having more of a black vinegar to it, but it's got enough of one that it's not overbearing. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, you might like it if you like such things. Eh. Okay. A fit? I hope you fit. If you don't, my legs are gonna get all burnt up. No, no scalding. That makes me happy. But uh, yeah. So I got an extra hour, and today I decided was the day to start the big top ten lists. What does that mean for you? Well, if you go into my playlist of top ten lists, there's one there. The, the big top 10 comes out on the day, clo the Monday closest to April 20th every year. And for you, that passed a while back. So. The, uh, either the bowls or the cups, or maybe both of those are out for you already. And the bottom 10 list too. That's, that's always a fun one. 
companies love to be on the bottom 10 instant noodles of all time. 2021 edition. Nothing more enjoyable than that. I hate, put, I, you know, it's like, I will try stuff knowing that there's a good chance I'm not going to like it in hopes that there will be something new for the list. Because a lot of the time, I, I, I went through most of this year without getting a zero until all of a sudden I hit upon a brand that <laughs> people really hate it and it's not, it's not the worst I've ever had. But it's on the bottom 10. There was another one that hit the bottom 10 this last time, so. But I, I wanna say it's harder to get on the bottom 10 than on the top 10, really. You gotta make some seriously crappy stuff. Oh. That is an old alarm. Now. Usually I'd be like, oh no, there's only a few minutes left until Mimi's class, but. There's actually 40 minutes. Yeah, usually this would be when I'd be like scrambling. No need for that. So sour flavor, huh? Just had Easter. But got any of this? I do, don't I? Is this what it is? Yeah. I've got some uh, barbecue pork. I'll use a little of this. Just like that. Why not? I think it's still good. Not like I'm eating it. If you were here, I would put something nice on it so you could eat it. I don't, I don't put bad food on stuff that I'm actually serving people, so don't get that idea. But. This looks kind of nice. It doesn't look as devilish as the little guy on the package. And where's my old friend? My old friend, crushed red pepper. go. That, I think, ladies and gentlemen, is that for my first review of the week, the only review of the day, I just did an unboxing actually. I did a, a Zen Pop unboxing. This came out of a, a store. I think I got this at 99 Ranch. Or, no, I might have gotten this at Asian Family Market. I'm not sure. It's one of those days. But rest assured, there will be more of them. But in the meantime, come on. There we go. Rotato, do your... Are you even centered? Not really. There you go. Do your, do your stuff. Wishing you enjoyment of noodles each and every day. Have a good one and bye bye to you. See, sometimes when I push the stop button, it stops, and sometimes it doesn't.